Hello, hello. I am going to make some cards, but what I want to first do is just thank everybody who uh, participated in my very first masterclass series. I had a lot of fun last week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. But um, just a quick recap. Basically, what I've started to do is put together online courses and my very first what I'm calling masterclass series was called easy holiday crafting it did center around my easy wonder dies but in all of the seven individual workshop classes I included the uh, a video cutting guide for how to manually cut what my die does for you and um, because after all, the Easy Wonder dies were based off of my mini one sheet wonders. And so um, it was a fabulous week. Uh, all of the classes either were recorded live, two of them were recorded live. And I actually, since I crafted along with both of those as uh, the co-host of those lives, I do have the cards that I made. So from Meg's class, I made this one during class and it was fun it started off as using the letter s as a uh, layout but what i started that way kind of going like this but then my card started to evolve into something else and I, that's what i love about the design rules that meg taught us because you can use them as a starting point and then let your card evolve from there and because i had the good fortune of being able to ask meg for her tutelage she helped me with doing a more random um uh, placement for my embellishments so i really appreciated getting that um hands-on um teaching from her and that was the benefit of being able to um, be a part of a live class and uh, shortly after that class ended I did this card I actually made this card for Meg <laughs> because she does not drink coffee I wanted to make a uh, coffee card for her but she actually doesn't drink coffee and so um, this gnome you can pretend that his latte there is actually hot chocolate and um and so this will be my little thank you card to Meg. So those are the two cards that I made during the live recorded um, kickoff session, which is now called Easy Creative Play. All of the classes are still available. You can buy them anytime. Um, they're going to be on my website indefinitely for as long as I can afford to, you know, keep them um, posted. And I had um, two classes and I don't have all of my cards um, nearby but I do have my easy flip cards so one of my classes was one of the um, sort of flip videos that I normally do with Spellbinders Club kits and I realized I've just never done them on my own easy wonder dies and so um, this is my flat card I did two versions and it just is a really easy mailer. This one I used gilding flakes in between the die cuts and this one I used some glitter um, which is really got that nice sparkly shine. My um, layered card is just a fun fold. This is a joy fold card so both of them are pretty similar. Then my interactive card Again, these are fairly similar, but it's what I'm calling a hidden shaker. So you can hear the shaker bits, but they actually reveal the bits will drop after you pull this mechanism out. So how fun is that? And then you can reset everything by tipping it upside down and then sliding this back in so that you can have that fun all over again. So that was my flip card. And then um, 
my interact or my pop-up card. Sorry, that was my interactive card and my pop-up card was this. And so you would pull it out of the envelope and it spins and stands really nicely. So this was the sample one that I made and then I made this version during class. So those are um, some of the cards that I made during masterclass. Now what I'm gonna do in today's video uh, is not something I learned from masterclass. It's actually, I'm gonna craft with the aftermath of masterclass. So in the live recorded wrap up, I made this card with Gaz. He is handmade, handmade by Gaz here on YouTube. And this is a massive pinwheel card. It is, um, let's see, it measures five and a half by I think 10. So really pretty large, uh, quite the opposite of an easy mailer. Um, but it's really special. It even has a shaker built into one of these. And it was, his class was the perfect culmination, the perfect way to end the masterclass series because it really brought together a lot of the other classes. We had Carrie who taught us how to do a shaker uh, card two ways. She did a tunnel shaker and a more traditional shaker. Um, Yvette taught us how to make some, um, gifts and decorations, and this could be used as a really lovely centerpiece. So, um, Yvette taught us how to make name cards, um, but I feel like this, because it stands really lovely, it's got something to see all the way around 360 degrees, so it doesn't matter where you're sitting at. Um, the table, you have a lovely vantage point to um, experience part of this card. And you don't necessarily have to put sentiments on every panel. You could put photos, you could put um, images. Gaz showed a really, really gorgeous paper that um, I really loved how he used the easy dies on um, his sample pinwheel card. Really, really special. But um, seeing as how this card is so large, it really feels like eight cards in one because each of these sections here feels like they, they, like that could be a card by itself. That could be a card on its own. And so, you know, each of these pairings, I feel, could be, it could each be a card. And so I have quite... Um, not a lot actually, as it turns out, but I do have leftovers from that crafty session. And what I thought I would do today is see how many cards I can continue to make, um, with what's left over. And so I'm going to continue to craft with, uh, this is an Echo Park paper pad that I bought at a warehouse sale two, three years ago, I really went wild and picked up quite a lot. And so this is really lovely. It's got beautiful blues and a bit of this sort of minty green, which is really nice. And so I am going to try not to tear into anything new. I'm just going to craft with the scraps that are left over from that um, masterclass with Gaz. And as I mentioned, all of the classes are available, but now that we are past the initial launch week, um, all of the discounts are gone. So everything is back up to full price, but they all are available. So if you are interested in um, getting in-depth uh, tutorials where everything is filmed in real time and we have the, the leisure and the benefit of um, not having to keep our videos to a certain length or um, preparing a lot in advance, then um, do, do check that out. Um, and I plan to do more master classes. So um, the next one that I have coming up, 
actually, this is probably also a very good example for it, but it's going to be a Masculine Makes Masterclass. And interestingly enough, um, even though we're calling it Masculine Makes, the classes are all technique-based and um, really we're going to be talking about how to achieve certain looks and customize them for whoever you are giving um, that particular card or project to. And it doesn't necessarily have to have traditional um, masculine colors, but we're going to try to um, give you some ideas for how to make cards for the men in your life. But I think a lot of those classes you're going to be able to do takeaways and generalize and be able to customize cards for people regardless of what their color preferences are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the rest of this process as I uh, put together as many cards as I can with the scraps that you see here and I'll just set the rest of this video to some music and that way um, you can watch uh, all of these evolve and be sure to uh, check out that description box below if you want to learn more about Masterclass series. Thanks so much. I'm probably not going to revisit at the end, so I'll say uh, my goodbyes now. So enjoy um, and maybe place your bets in the comments below. How many cards do you think I can make? <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of this video.